Ladies and gentlemen. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. How about that left hand? Teddy, a fighter like we're seeing here tonight who has that really powerful straight right hand, where does he generate that power from throwing that punch? Well, he's pivoting on his back foot. As an orthodox fighter, he's turning into that punch. And his back is into it. His whole body is into it without losing position, without losing balance. To the head he goes with a left hand. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Halfway through round number one. Come on, kid, focus. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Double jab by Muhammad Ali. He comes with the straight right hand. Muhammad Ali is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Vladimir Klitschko's defense is paying off now. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. He scores Keep with the jab. Moving. Keep moving. Ten seconds to go in this round. That's a well-scored left hand by Vladimir Klitschko. Ali's pure aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh. His opponent doesn't. Able to dismiss it. Missed that uppercut. Nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Rings, rings. Keep moving, keep moving. Little head hunting with the left. You get the sense that Vladimir Klitschko could almost catch his opponent's punch. Nice block that time. Stay away from the inside. That's a good block by Vladimir Klitschko. Halfway through round number two. Double jab right to the face. Good effective work with that straight right hand. with the right hand. Yeah! A solid uppercut by Vladimir Klitschko. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. And round number three is underway. Great work offensively landing that combination by Muhammad Ali. Unable to get to Ali. Ali blocked it. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Nice block by Vladimir Klitschko. A well 
placed uppercut by Vladimir Klitschko. Goes up top with a right hand. Send out the initial scouting report on Vladimir Klitschko. That's what you will see. Vladimir landing a jab. Everybody knows Vladimir Klitschko wants to do that right there. The jab, the straight, typically the win. Scores up top with a left. Nice block by Vladimir Klitschko. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Vladimir Klitschko, more than one punch at a time. This is a heavyweight fighter in Vladimir Klitschko that's willing to work. To count down the final moments of this round. And that does it for this round. Vladimir Klitschko's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Vladimir Klitschko with those big arms of his, I mean, he blocks a punch. He really defends it well like a shield. Hook up the jab. In and out, in and out. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Oh, Vladimir Klitschko's almost got like a viper quality to it, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he attacks real quick, comes in, strikes before you know what hit you. Yeah, he's very quick, and that is his style. He likes to get in, do his damage, and get out. Right now, his opponent can't match him with that physical ability. What he's got to do is try to time him on the way in. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Move, move. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Vladimir Klitschko. And now he's targeting upstairs. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Landing two jabs by Muhammad Ali. You're that tall, you're that big, you're that capable, you're gonna land jabs like he just did. Vladimir Klitschko scores again. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Round number five has arrived. And now he scores well with a straight right. Ali blocks it. A well-placed left hand up top. Able to land the jab. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Way through this round. Nice block by Muhammad Ali. Nice work, the left hand to the head.
Unable to land clean by Muhammad Ali. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Up to penetrate Vladimir Klitschko's defense. He was able to block that punch with ease. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Block more. <laughs> Vladimir Klitschko has every tool on the tool belt. Now you see what happens when he utilizes one of them, the left hand. <laughs> Scored well up top. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Parries that punch intended for the head. Well timed by Vladimir Klitschko. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Vladimir Klitschko's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, shows is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. That's a serious power punch he just landed to the head. It's almost unfair what Vladimir Klitschko can do in the ring, right? You know how strong he is, how big he is, how offensive-minded he is. But the ability to use his defense and turn it into offense, we saw it there. Sends that right to the head. Halfway through this round here. Well placed jab by Vladimir Klitschko. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Vladimir Klitschko. Doubling up that jab, it serves him well to the body. Vladimir Klitschko's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate speed. Round number eight is underway. Ali's corner, Teddy, was so animated after that seventh round. I think they realize what your scorecard is now showing our viewers, that he could be letting this fight slip away. And they're doing what a good corner has to do. They're telling him the truth. And you know what? 
under pressure. That's extreme pressure. A lot more pressure than we're feeling. You You're in the ring with a guy trying to go after you, trying to take everything from you, trying to hurt you. Sometimes a fighter doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know that he's not doing enough. Now he knows. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. All that size, all that leverage, and that pure athleticism of Vladimir Klitschko. And it comes in the form of the left hand that time. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Vladimir Klitschko's putting that old boxing theory to work, and that's carry that walking stick and it'll take you far. Yeah, you're talking about that jab. He's doing a good job, but you know, the jab's not enough. You have to be educated with where to use the jab from, and that's what he's doing a good job with. If you throw a jab from too close, you can get timed with the jab killer, the right hand. He's throwing that jab from the right distance, where he's all the way outside where his opponent cannot counter with the right hand. Back to basics here as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in. You want to stay on the outside? Use that jab. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Nice work, kid. Good job. The ninth round is here. And now another left. A well-placed gutsy uppercut after being tagged. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Vladimir Klitschko's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. I really like what he's doing here. I mean, if you were to pick any one piece of weaponry that you say aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter, it is the jab, and he's firing it off beautifully. And he's firing it off consistently all night at the right distance. He's getting full extension on that punch, and that's making him effective offensively and safe defensively. He's out of the other fighter's range. Off the target by Vladimir Klitschko. Stay on the outside. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. Yeah. Flush with the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Vladimir Klitschko. And that's the end of round nine. Vladimir Klitschko's well-conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. You get the sense that Vladimir Klitschko could almost catch his opponent's punch. Nice. Muhammad Ali's clinch. Solid. One shot and down, Teddy. And now he's going to have to find a way to clinch. He needs time to recover. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what Muhammad Ali has left, 
But I do know this. He's getting up, and he's going to find out. Come on, get focused. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Body shot. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Good work defensively by Vladimir Klitschko. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Jabs by Muhammad Ali. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. Keep going. And round 10 comes to an end. It's hard to see this changing course. Here it is, round number 11. And he's really banked away all these consecutive rounds here. This fight has been his for quite some time. Yeah, all he has to do now, like, he's like a guy that's been driving on the highway. I mean, it's on cruise control. He just has to make sure he keeps the hands on the steel wheel, keep it straight ahead. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Plus shot by Vladimir Klitschko. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Vladimir Klitschko. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Ali's doing exactly what he's always done stylistically, Teddy. Now, he was knocked down earlier, so what he always does got him in this position. Yeah, he understands his identity. He understands that, you know, he's going to win or lose the man that he is, the fighter that he is. He just has to make sure that he makes a few adaptations. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Vladimir Klitschko. Well targeted one two by Muhammad Ali. You see him holding on. Ten seconds remaining in this round. He just keeps acquiring round after round on the judges' scorecards. He's winning this fight with ease. A great night by Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, it looks like a guy that you said is just acquiring things, walking into the store, taking whatever he wants. It's up to the storekeeper to shut him down, and we don't see that happen. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. <laughs> When the combinations are landing, he scored well there with that combo. And he's holding. Vladimir Klitschko with those big arms of his, I mean, he blocks a punch. He really defends it well like a shield. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Just like that, just like that. Vladimir Klitschko showing you a little defensive skill there, and they'll move away from that punch. Tough to penetrate Vladimir Klitschko's defense. He was able to block that punch with ease.
Good way to protect the midsection. There's no need to be on the inside. Keep your hands up. Final 10 seconds in this, the 12th and final round. Ali's starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Keep your hands up. Nice strike after catching one by Vladimir Klitschko. Knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Nice block. Muhammad Ali blocks that punch. Working the body. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. by Muhammad Ali. Seems like Vladimir Klitschko has his wits about him again. Seems like he's keeping his chin protected a little bit more, too. Vladimir Klitschko's fine right now. Don't go thinking that what happened just moments ago is affecting him. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Locks away that headshot. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. One, two, one. Protecting his head well with his guard. Yeah. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Ali's out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Ted? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Vladimir Klitschko. Cut. Nice job there. 
that is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Vladimir Klitschko. It is the final round. Here they go. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vladimir Klitschko. something for him himself, and it's a left hand. There you go. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Vladimir Klitschko. You get the sense that Vladimir Klitschko could almost catch his opponent's punch. Nice block that time. Jab and a straight by Muhammad Ali. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Super two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. Nice defense. Good block by Muhammad Ali. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know. This could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. Vladimir Klitschko's dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision, a unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. It was an easy one to score. I mean, he did it fundamentally well. It wasn't just with talent. He did it with the jab. He did it with control and range, going to the body. Great night. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.